good Sunday morning. It's before services. I don't have to dress up on Sundays anymore. Well, I'm mad this way. I don't have to dress up anyway. Arkansas Woodcutter, by the way. Don't go anywhere. I got something for you from yesterday that I'm putting at the end of this. You'll like it. Hey, it's shout out Sunday. I have a big old list of links I created. You can see it on the last video. I'm gonna keep it there running. There's 10, uh, 10 channels there, uh, two out of Canada and the rest are American channels, uh, USA channels, I should say. And uh, they're from California, Texas, uh, let's see, Arkansas, I think Rhode Island, Ohio. I mean, they're all over the place. And then we get two up in Canada, like I said, uh, and it's a variety, it's not all gardening. Did a lot of work yesterday, I hope you did too. I know some of you guys have uh, rather cold weather. We had another night under 40 last night. Boom, I was ready to go. Moon calendar says not to do it. Well, it said to do it today. Um, but it looks like, I think Tuesday, we're getting another overnighter. Like 39, that's too close, too close, too close. Um, now if you realize that 39 air, you can still get a light frost. It depends on what it is at the ground. So now I'm going to fool with the new ones. Just keep rolling with what I got. I might throw some seed in. They should be okay. I did put beets in yesterday. Here, check this out. Yep, Saturday. You can see there, that's row three and two. Uh, they're both cockeyed because I planted them before I measured off. I'm an idiot. Yep, and this is five. The back side of five is coming up. So I'm put in... Uh, Pepper, I guess I'll put it in pepper, I can't remember. Tomato and pepper, I got it all plot in my head. And over here is where the zucchini will go. Uh, I'm gonna prep it, I'm not sure I'll put, well, anything down the day. It's supposed to get down at 39 tonight, and it's windy right now. But anyhow. This goes 13 and 0. Tennessee finishes the season 13 and 0. Jeff Jacoby is in the middle of the mass on the field. Let's go down to Jeff Jacoby. Now, one reason I like getting up before the world gets up is I can hear the birds. I can hear a little bit of traffic in the distance, but it's always like I'm in the country. Yep. Okay, so... You can see um, where I have removed that lettuce. Took some radish out too. Uh, I walked down the middle path here. So you can see, all right, there was radish there. It's now taken out in the crisper, three heads of lettuce. I'll eat all that up over the next week. And this will be a tomato square. So in the corners of this, you can see that steak, white steak, uh, there, it's about right there. All right, this is gonna be a um, square of tomatoes with parsley and basil cross. It's a little technique, I'll make a video on it later. And then I went ahead, that is uh, the staggered, the remaining staggered radish. And against the wall there, is a row, about a four foot row of uh, beets. And then another probably two foot running in front of the larger radish. So a little close, but this is small space. Uh, I'll thin it out when we get to it. Today's shout out. Today's shout out is for the three cooking channels. There's Behind the Garage Barbecue. I gave him a shout out earlier, Craig. Uh, obviously that's all outdoor cooking. He gardens some too. Uh, second helping cooking. I really like her channel. She's not about her personality. It's about what's on the plate. I mean, she shows you in detail about probably 10 minute videos, but she just lays it out so you can replicate what she's done. Uh, it's really cool. She doesn't have enough space to garden, so she's, she's not gardening. Uh, then there's wine and dine with Jeff. Now Jeff and I go back for a very long time. Uh, my music channel is still just right under a thousand. Uh, Jeff's cooking channel, when we first met, he was under a thousand. He's over 3,000 now. It's because he's got a quality channel. Again, they're 10 minute videos. 
uh, even if you're not gonna cook what he's cooking, he is a professional chef, so you just pick up all these little things that you don't really think about that you can use in other dishes. And he pairs his meals, that's why it's called Wine and Dine with Jeff, he pairs it with uh, wine from around the world. So uh, that's really cool. Uh, he does have a vineyard. Um, he can't, over years of discuss, uh, discussions, uh, Jeff cannot, particularly herbs, he can't, uh, he's got deer problems, okay? We'll just put it that way, and critter problems. So uh, he's got the vineyard, but anything else, you know, rosemary, whatever, just too much trouble so he doesn't fool with it. But, you know, cooking and wine is this thing. If you're into that, check him out. It's probably, well, it is, in my opinion. It's the best cooking channel that pairs wine, but it's not just about the wine. The, the recipes are incredible. And I want to say, too, he has a web page. Everything's organized. Poultry, vegan, beef, uh, fish, and it's all organized, and there's videos, but he also has free, you download the recipes. It's like a free cookbook. Yeah, I, I, everybody, second helping, great. Backyard barbecue is great. Wine and Dine with Jeff is great too. I'm not saying the other two aren't great, but Wine and Dine with Jeff, just, you know, free recipes. I, I just love that channel. Known Jeff, like I said, for many years now. And uh, he's a good guy. He knows what he's doing. Yep. Back that whip. <laughs> Peace, y'all. Y'all have a great weekend. I'm guarding my butt off. I think I've lost 10 pounds. Uh, maybe three. Hmm. Guess we'll call that my shelter in place double. I can't grow a beard. I have too much Native American in me. I look like a 14 year old in the Civil War or something. Has all of its times out remaining. <laughs> this is actually in Saturday. It'll go on the Sunday show. But I thought about Arkansas ballot, Woodcutter. Hopefully not that much. He's an SEC boy. The balls have the ball just inside. I don't the know. Line. Go Hogs. There goes Price. I'm a Vols right boy. I live in Carolina, but I went to Tennessee. Tight end is to the left with the ball yeah, in the right. John Ward here. This is a 1999 championship game there. Arkansas Woodcutter. I remember 1998 that season. I went to that Florida game, and I watched that Arkansas game on TV. It was that young man's name, Sternum. Something like that. That was a fortuitous fumble. Sometimes you gotta be lucky, brother. Love you, man. Love you, man.